guys welcome to this week's warlord wednesday not much else has come out from warlord this week the only thing new that i've seen is there's large army boxes for the new warlords of erewhon fantasy game that they're going to produce it's an army box for the orcs and also an army box for the skeletons now each box is big there must be 40 50 figures at least in each box so if you're interested in having a go at warlords of erewhon then these could be a good option unless you've already got some old fantasy figures which you could use but anyway the countdown is on i think it's 10 days or so till it's released 26th so if you've not got your pre-orders in get it in now it's looking good there's also a facebook group which i've joined and if you're interested have a search for it warlords are one and join the group and there's some posts in there about some of the things that you can expect you know the different factions and how they they're going to feel on the table so yeah so if you're interested get yourself over to the facebook page and have a look i've not been too good this week i've uh, been a bit uh, not full of cold and all that what i'm going to return to my waterloo set and i'm going to do at the end, these guys the hanoverians to go with my british now I've, can, I've got a couple of the sprues here because I've still got another unit of British to do. Right, so that's the um, British sprue. And that's the Hanoverian sprue. Now we put them next to each other. the only difference is the actual heads the bodies are exactly the same the backpacks are exactly the same it's just the heads that's different on them so there you go that's the new the warlord hanoverian sprue so that's what i'm going to be doing this week i'm going to get these done because i've not got much done i'm going to do a quick mini terrain build using these items we've got tongue presser some tile spaces a large black pen and this you can get a picture hand in hanging set this is the wire that comes with it it's quite thin wire i suppose you could use fuse wire as well let's go to the table and i'll show you what i'm going to do okay guys so it is the quickest train build in history there's your items you need you start off you stick five of these put blobs of glue onto the corners of each one and stick them on there equally space out all five and it's by magic you'll have this so when you've done that while it's drying take your wire out of your box Get your large pen and wrap it round like so and when you've wrapped it round you slide it off it'll come off eventually left with this coil and pull it out slightly to make it as long as you want put it over the top like so and 
hold each section down put a blob of super glue on the bottom to hold it in place do that all the way along trim it to length and you have this a section of barbed wire fence easy quick you just have to paint it the way you want the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to do the cross pieces uh, with uh, a metal colour and then I'll give my light brush over with some uh, sepia wash or something to make them look as if they're a bit rusty and I'll paint the base brown might put a bit of static glass on it so there you go quick tutorial barbed wire fence Okay hey guys, so that's it for this week's Warlord Wednesday. Uh, stay tuned, I've got a terrain tutorial next week. I'm going to show you how I built this a house for Burma. So you're going to want to do a jungle terrain, or even if you're going to do some Sudan with your black powder miniatures, some buildings for that. And uh, yeah, so I'll show you how to do that next week. Come on, a little uh, thing down to the roof, slot some place. So, see you next week. Thanks for watching.